Hi guys, Mark is here and welcome to Chinese Entertainment Update, March 7th, 2023. I release episodes every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday between 7 and 10 p.m. Pacific Time. This is episode 682 and the rundown with timestamps is in the description box below. Now, because I use Chinese names quite a bit on my show, if you want the English spelling of them, you can turn on subtitles. I create them myself. In today's episode, here's some of what you guys have said about the ingenious one. The Legend of the Condor Heroes, the Great Hero, announces Xiao Chan and Zhuang Daofei to star, Choi Hak to direct. Jay Cho and Jackie Chung meet in Hong Kong. And Hookah celebrates his little one's 100th day. We'll get to the top 10 Chinese web and TV dramas of the week as we do every Sunday. But first, here is what's recently premiered, one drama for today and the past few days. It's Grandma's New World, starring Yen Ni and Deng Enxi. The modern drama premiered earlier today. In it, Yen Ni is a grandma who runs away from home to see the world, find herself, and restart her life. Years later, her granddaughter, played by Deng Enxi, and her twin sister embark on a revealing journey to find her. From one stop to the next, the puzzle surrounding Grandma is slowly pieced together. Grandma's New World is slated for 18 episodes and is available on IGE with English subs. Also, while we're on premiere dates, Sweet and Cold has confirmed theirs. The modern romance drama starring Ava Wang and Jing Han recently released this poster to announce it will air on May 8th. In the drama, Ava Wang is an independent woman who is married only to her work. However, sparks fly when she meets Jing Han's character, the annoying chief technology officer of a big company. Sweet and Cold is slated for 31 episodes and will stream on Yuku. I will update on where to watch with English subs if available after it premieres. And lastly, for premiere dates, a couple of quick mentions for rumored ones. Gen Z, the modern drama starring Wu Kang and Zhao Lusi, is rumored for a May 14th premiere. Angels Fall Sometimes has a rumored date too. The Tearjerker starring Landy Lee and Li Yi is rumored for a May 21st premiere. I'll update again if and when these dramas announce something official. Next up for drama updates, some recent Douban opening ratings. I have three of them for you guys today. Starting with Take Us Home, the modern family drama starring Mai Li and Bai Yu. It opened with an average score of 6.3 from around 11,700 ratings. Then there's Thin Ice, the Republican era drama starring Peng Guan Ying and Yu Qi Chen. It opened with an average score of 5.5 from around 9,000 ratings. And lastly, O to Joy Season 4, the modern female centric drama starring Maggie Jiang and Ora Yang. It opened with an average score of 5.6 from around 8,000 ratings. Those of you who follow these dramas, what do you think of their opening scores? Too high, too low, or just about right? Let us know in the comment section below. And lastly, for drama updates, I'm gonna debut a segment called Feature Drama. In Feature Drama, if a recently aired drama opens to plenty of positive feedback, I'll feature it on this segment. I'll talk about it briefly and mention some of the comments you guys have left about it. I did something similar for Till the End of the Moon not long ago, but at the time I hadn't labeled the segment yet. If this catches on, I'll continue with other popular dramas in the future. Today's featured drama is The Ingenious One starring Chen Xiao and Rachel Mao. The costume drama premiered on May 1st and is available with English subs on IGE. Chen Xiao plays Yun Xiang, a swordsman with a frivolous facade but who is in fact an ingenious strategist. He falls in love with Xu Yanan, a superior martial artist played by Rachel Mao. She approaches him with an ulterior motive, but can she outwit the ingenious one? As of today, the ingenious one has broken 25,000 popularity points on IGE and shared this poster to make the announcement. As the drama continues to rack up those views and comments, here are some of the positive feedback you guys have left about it on my channel. Really enjoying the ingenious one. The plot and character stories are set up quickly without confusion. Casting and acting are top tier, so you invest in their stories from the start. Chen Xiao is such a captivating actor, supporting cast are well chosen. Cinematography and set decorations are detailed and beautiful. Ingenious one is good so far. All of the actors are good and the characters are interesting. 
The Ingenious One is definitely worth checking out. I've watched six episodes and I'm enjoying it. The characters and plot are interesting and it's a feast for the eyes. I am loving The Ingenious One. Chen Xiao always delivers. The Ingenious One is a much better drama with more engaging characters than anything else right now. You can feel much more empathetic for these characters. I think I might have come across one or two comments by folks who weren't as enamored by The Ingenious One, but most of them were positive. Alright, that's it for drama updates. Moving on, a piece of film update for you guys, a pretty major one. A Legend of the Condor Heroes movie is getting made again. This one's called The Legend of the Condor Heroes, The Great Hero, and they've officially announced renowned Hong Kong director Choi Hak at the helm, and Xiao Chan and Zhuang Dafei to star as Guo Qing and Huang Rong respectively. I've said before in the past that I would love to see a big budget, big screen adaptation of Legend of the Condor Heroes, one that really impresses, and not just from a CGI point of view, but one that really pays attention to the characters and story. Could this be it? Choi Hak's movies have been a bit of a hit or miss for me in recent years, but he has helmed some of my favorite 90s classic Hong Kong movies like the Once Upon a Time in China series with Jet Li. This Legend of the Condor Heroes adaptation will be Xiao Chan's second starring role in a feature-length movie. His first was 2019's Jade Dynasty, which was a huge commercial success. This will be Zhuang Dafei's first ever starring role in a movie. She starred in a bunch of drama since debuting in 2018, her latest being Miss Chun as a litigator. Like many of legendary wuxia novelist Jin Yong's works, Legend of the Condor Heroes has been adapted into dramas and movies countless times over the years. This is the most recent drama adaptation, 2017's The Legend of the Condor Heroes starring Yang Xuwen and Li Yitong. In Legend of the Condor Heroes, skilled heroes like Guo Qing and other wuxias from the Central Plains defend their country as Genghis Khan and his Mongol army attempts to invade. Moving on now, celebrity updates, and today we begin with two of my favorite Chinese language singers of all time. On May 4th, 44-year-old Taiwanese singer and Mando pop king Jay Cho shared this photo on Instagram, and fans loved it. Within an hour, the post received 75,000 likes and a plethora of messages from fans who were thrilled at seeing the two Asian pop icons together, Jay on the right and Jackie Cheung on the left. Jay wrote, The God of Songs paid me a visit. Such a surprise. Thank you, brother Jackie, for your support. I will perform well. Reportedly, Jay, who was in Hong Kong for his concert tour, was doing rehearsals when Jackie popped in to say hello. Jackie himself is going on tour shortly. He will begin in Macau on June 9th and head to Singapore in mid-July. I saw Jackie in Hong Kong in 2016. It was one of the most memorable concerts I've ever been to. Alright, lastly for celebrity updates, here's one on hookah. The 40-year-old actor became a father in February and recently celebrated his little one's 100th day. His studio shared this photo to congratulate him and revealed that his little one's nickname is Little Jasmine. They left a message, delightful at first sight. In the warm spring, Little Jasmine celebrates her 100th day. May you have warmth and companionship and grow up healthily. Netizens alike sent their blessings in the comment section. And with that, I thought I'd take this opportunity to update on my little one. JJ turns 11 months in a few days, and we can't wait to celebrate his one-year birthday. Doesn't time just fly when they're at this age? Right, JJ? Right? Right? Anyway, before we get to this week's top 10, just to say that this show wouldn't be possible without you guys tuning in, so I thank you all for your support. If you enjoy the content, do like and subscribe, and don't forget to click that notification button for more updates. If you'd like to contribute, consider giving this video a super thanks. It is the heart-shaped button with the dollar sign below this video. All funds support the show and keep it going. Or you can check out my Patreon page, where for a dollar more a month, you'll have access to perks like recaps, requests, and have your questions answered. On that note, it's Sunday today, so time for the Top 10 Chinese Dramas of the Week, Edition 171, May 7th, 2023. 
The data is provided by V-Linkage, a marketing consultant company based in Shanghai. They provide top drama charts every day. In this segment, the drama standings are based on their 7-day total points, beginning with last Sunday and ending yesterday. We begin with the top 10 web dramas. The list is based on view counts on Yuku, Aichi, and Tencent, social media discussions, and Baidu searches. Number 10. The Trust The costume drama stars Sung Yenfei and Zhang Haowei Number 9. Romance of a Twin Flower The costume drama stars Ryan Ding and Peng Xiaoran Number 8. Royal Rumors The costume drama stars Jeremy Xu and Zoe Meng Number 7. Desire Catcher The modern drama stars Cheng Ye Cheng and Xing Yun Lai Number 6. 13 Years of Dust The modern drama stars Chen Jianping and Chen Xiao Number 5. The Lord of Losers Season 2 The modern drama stars Li Jiahang and Cheng Guo Number 4. The Ingenious One The costume drama stars Chen Xiao and Rachel Mao Number 3. The Love You Give Me The modern drama stars Yuvin Wang and Wang Ziqi Number 2. The Long Season The modern drama stars Fan Wei and Qing Hao And number 1. Till the End of the Moon The costume drama stars Liu Luo and Bai Lu Till the End of the Moon is champion for a fourth week running It garnered 595 points Next up, we have the top 10 Chinese TV dramas of the week. The list is based on TV ratings and social media discussions in China. Number 10, The Nice, the Republican era drama stars Peng Guanying and Yuki Chen. Number 9, The Ordinary Road, the modern drama stars Guo Qiling and Jina Jin. Number 8, Miles to Go, the retro drama stars Chen Xiao and Li Qing. Number 7, Warm and Sweet, the modern drama stars Victoria Song and Michelle Chen. Number 6, Ode to Joy Season 4, the modern drama stars Maggie Jiang and Ora Yang. Number 5, Youth and Flames of War, the Republican era drama stars Dylan Wang and Zhou Ye. Number 4, The Knockout, the modern drama stars Zhang Yi and Zhang Sunwen. Number 3, Infernal Affairs, the Republican era drama stars Jing Dong and Claudia Wang. Number 2, Take Us Home, the modern drama stars Mai Li and Bai Yu. And number 1, Nothing But You, the modern drama stars Liu Wu and Zhou Yitong. Nothing But You ends the week with 447 points. This is the fourth time it's been champion since its premiere. And there it is, guys. Hope this gives you an idea of what dramas are hot in Chinese drama land at the moment. Tune in again next week to see how your favorite dramas perform. And before I let you guys go, I want to give a big virtual hug to Angela Klassen, who recently became a patron on my Patreon. Thank you for your support, Angela. And that brings us to the end of this episode. Have a great week ahead, and I'll see you guys Tuesday. As always, stay safe, and I wish you clear blue skies, good health, and happiness. Until next time, cheers.